Are you hoping to add a Maltese into your family but you're not sure how they'll react around children and other pets? Well in this video we're going to take a deeper look to help you make your decision. Welcome back to the Fenrir Maltese Show. If this is your first time here, my name is Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload. So let's dive right into today's video. The Maltese is a small friendly breed that would make the perfect canine companion for any family. The Maltese loves to be held and cuddled, but sometimes they do still need their space. They're a very social and playful breed that will love nothing more than playing and they will happily share their toys with any children. You'll soon find that your children and Maltese have become the best of friends. There are boundaries that children should be taught when you decide to get any breed of dog. These boundaries ensure that both children and your canine will live harmoniously. Children should be taught to never approach any dogs whilst they're eating, drinking or sleeping and if a child does approach them during these times, your Maltese may be startled and may naturally mouth at whoever's approached them. Children should always approach any canines in a calm, slow and gentle manner. A few good ideas to help your Maltese bond with any children in the household include letting them help feed and groom your Maltese. Let them hold the lead whilst on walks. Let your children teach your Maltese in easy commands, like to give their paw for a treat, and to teach your children how to become good canine leaders. This ensures that your Maltese knows that everyone else in the family is in charge. When children are playing with your canine, they should do so in a calm yet fun atmosphere, as when your children get overexcited, your Maltese will too. Children should always be watched when they're around any dogs as children will often try and climb or sit on a dog's back or poke and prod them and this can upset your Maltese and even hurt them. It's a good idea to crate train your Maltese. A crate will give your canine an area that's their own, away from the hustle and bustle of the house. It's important when you decide to crate train your Maltese that your children know to leave them alone when they decide to take themselves into their crate for some alone time. Children need to understand that a puppy may nibble at hands and feet, but this will soon stop if you redirect the puppy's attention from any hands and feet to their chew toys. Another thing to bear in mind is that in the wild, dogs will play tug of war games to assert their dominance. It's not a good idea for children to play tug of war games with your Maltese. Tug of war games can also get your puppy overly excited, which can lead to bad and unwanted behaviours such as biting, humping and scratching. Maltese are a very placid breed and they'll love to be around you and your family throughout the day. However, every dog is different and some may be more playful than others. Hey guys, really quick message. I just wanted to let you know, if you're not following us on Instagram already, we are doing tons of helpful, valuable content over there that I'm sure you'll love. We've got a couple of different pages that I think you'll really enjoy. First is our Fenrir business account, where we do loads of stuff about training, some of our product services, and just what we get up to on a day-to-day -day basis, building the fastest growing canine company in the world. And maybe you'll be interested in checking out my personal Instagram that's at I am Will Atherton. Again, if you're interested, there'll be links in the description Sorry for interrupting the video, I'll let you get straight back to it. Children should always be gentle when playing with the Maltese as they are a small toy breed and can be fragile. Children should know how to straight them gently and how to pick them up correctly too. It's important that children know the warning signs of a canine that wants to be left alone. They shouldn't approach any dog that grumbles or growls, a dog that has bared teeth, a tail that's under their undercarriage or a dog that's taken themselves under furniture like chairs, tables or in their crate. The Maltese has a peaceful temperament, which means they will happily get along with other animals. However, it's crucial that your Maltese is socialised to many different types of animals, dog breeds that are a range of different ages and sexes too. This ensures that your Maltese knows how to treat puppies and senior dogs and different animals. It's also essential that you introduce your Maltese to a variety of different animals during the first 16 weeks of their lives. Animals like birds, cats, squirrels, sheep, cow and any other animals that are easy to find is great for socialisation. This guarantees that your Maltese will be calm and relaxed when they next come across them. If your canine's not grown up with other dogs or animals, you should introduce them to your new family pet outside of the home in a neutral environment. If you're planning on adding a new dog to your household, it's a good idea to take your Maltese with you when you go to select your puppy if you can. If you're introducing your new puppy to your Maltese on a lead, ensure you keep it slack so that no tension is felt through the lead. This can make your Maltese anxious and tense. 
You should watch both dogs' body language and try to anticipate both dogs' reactions. Some negative body language to look out for includes teeth being on show, heckles raised, a rigid tail that's pointing up or curled underneath their undercarriage, and ears that are up or flat to the head. The body language you want to see includes a slight wagging of the tail, or a relaxed tail, a relaxed mouth and ears, open eyes, and a general relaxed stance. The Maltese is a very sweet-natured canine that will quickly become best friends with everyone in the family. They're not naturally an aggressive or dominant breed. As long as they're properly socialised, trained, and have an area to escape to for some peace and quiet, the Maltese will make the perfect family companion. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comments section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Maltese videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Maltese Show.